Hi, this is Professor Vanilla Randall, and I want to talk to you about uh, one approach uh, to making flashcards uh, using Memory Lifter. Um, this is what you're seeing on your screen is a, a Word document that I pulled together uh, to import things into Memory Lifter. You, it's very easy. You use a CVS uh, uh, or text file. The chapter uh, is dividing things up into chapters, so it's easy for you to work on. The number is really something that I put in in order to help me sort things so that I can sort them back in the order that I put them in if I decide to sort them in another order. Uh, you actually want to delete that out uh, because it really isn't useful uh, when you get ready to uh, import this into Memory Lifter. The question uh, is the name of the one side of the uh, flashcard and answer is the name of the other side of the flashcard. Now, I made this um, file by scanning uh, the summary on intentional tort from um, from one of the out existing outlines, and then uh, using Word Perfect because Word Perfect has a good macro feature that makes it easy to do this. I essentially put into a separate card every small paragraph part of that summary. So. Um, this is really uh, the summary um, from uh, uh, from a commercial outline, and this is one way you can go about working on this. So the assignment for you to do is to finish the flashcards here, and then uh, get them back to me and I will import them into Memory Lifter for you so that you can then use them. This, uh, so that you can try out Memory Lifter. This is something that you all can divide up the work. There's no reason why you have to do um, all of this by yourself. This is a good group project. There's, um, uh, 219 cards and there's about seven or eight people who are really active in the class and so that would mean that uh, if uh, if you worked as a total group uh, you divide eight into 219 and you have about uh, 25 cards a piece that you that right yeah about 20 cards a piece that you have to do um, you can do whatever number you want, and uh, uh, except that I do expect you to do at least 20 or 25 of them as a way of seeing how to do the cards and then uh, practicing the flashcards. So do uh, 20 or 25, do 25, let's say 25, on top of what's already done. So uh, you can go through and, and pick out what you want to do, like uh, which chapter you want to do. You could do battery, the chapter on battery, the chapter on assault, you could do a defense, but uh, do a total of 25 cards. Uh, so uh, how to do the cards. So first thing you need to do is decide whether you want to put this, do a card at all. That means you have to decide whether this is relevant to what you are being taught. So you you might decide, no, it's not relevant. So you just, in which case, you delete it. Just delete it like that. Uh, in fact, I would say just delete the whole line and move on to the next one. Okay, so I'm gonna put that back because I uh, because I don't want to delete it. Then, uh, if the other thing is it may be relevant, 
but it may need to be modified. That is, the rule may not be the way you, uh, uh, you want to learn it. Uh, and so you need to modify the answer component. So let me review the kinds of cards you can make. And this is just examples. If you think of another kind of card you want to make. So you can make a true or false card. You can go over to the answer and make pull out part of the answer and make it a true or false statement. Uh, now, you, you want to change up. Uh, so if you use everything exactly the way it is in the answer, you may end up with all true statements. So you want to modify part of the statement in a way that you uh, uh, make that turns it true or false. For instance, um, this first sentence here, which I will copy and put over here. So to make it a true or false statement and to make sure that I don't have all true or false statements, I could change the word irrelevant to relevant. Intent to cause is relevant to international to intentional tort, true or or false, and you then would put false, and then you'd leave the explanation there. You could make it. Uh, a yes or no question. Um, intent to car is irrelevant. I'll put irrelevant back. Yes. You could make it a fill in the blank statement. So take out harm and put in a blank and then go over to the answer and highlight and underline the word that was taken out. So that makes it a fill in the blank answer. Uh, uh, you could cause what's called name. You could, uh, if there's more than one thing, you could set up a name, the two elements, see for it here. Name the two elements of the rule for intent, actual desire, substantial certainty. Now, there are hypotheticals in here. When you get to a hypothetical, the hypothetical will include both the basic fact and the answer. So you want to pull out the, base, the, the facts. So Dr. Doolittle stopped at the scene of an auto accident and in an attempt to aid a victim with a broken arm, manipulated her arm over her objection when he set the arm. So you want to pull out the fact and leave the answer. You want to put this as a hypothetical and then you want to type an appropriate question. Uh, what is the issue? And what is the outcome? Then you go over here and you put um, the issue is intent. And then you just leave leave that there. And so now you have a short hypothetical question. Uh, 
you can make you can make questions so um go through and do select what you want uh, to practice on do up to 25 i really encourage you to uh uh coordinate uh, and what we can do is coordinate this on this um, in this form. So if you would identify in the subject heading the num the number of the cards you will do. So for instance, I might put down 14 through 39, which then someone else, would say, okay, I'm going to select some different one, 41 through 66. Uh, and so sort of on a first come, first serve basis, um, and select an area that you feel uncertain about or that you want to be sure to practice. Um, and this is to give you an idea of a couple of things. One, how you can pull together a... Uh, um, a uh, hypothetical outline, uh, I mean, not hypothetical, a flashcard outline, uh, to uh, how you can work together on putting that flashcard outline together. And three, uh, when you, uh, this is due uh, uh, Wednesday of next week, and when you get it to me, I will import it into a memory lifter and uh, and then you will get an opportunity to uh, practice one online uh, 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 one online uh, uh, flashcard program that use space repetition. Space repetition, I think, is really important to. Uh, uh, how you should practice uh, flashcards. If you have any questions, post them on Moodle.